Hey everybody, excited to share updates to Invoke that I think you're gonna really love. We've made it easier than ever to share and use workflows inside of the Invoke tool. The Workflows tab now has a new interface. This is the view mode, and it allows you to expose only those fields that need to change between workflows for you to run them, generate what you're looking for. And in a lot of ways, this makes it the easiest way to create and share repeatable processes with your team and other community members. You can access and load workflows from your library, and this will automatically update this view panel with whatever relevant fields you've exposed. And if you ever want to edit what's going on behind the scenes, you have the workflow editor right at your fingertips. In creating a workflow, you can choose to expose just those fields that you want to. You can organize your workflow view, match a clean set of steps, and you can rename how these fields are exposed to users to make it easier to use. When you make changes to the default values inside of the workflow editor and save those, inside of view, you'll see those updated whenever you load that workflow. If you make changes, you can easily reset on the view tab. These will not be changed inside of the saved workflow and you can easily reset to the default value by clicking the reset button. This works for a number of different workflows and can help deploy Invoke to a larger organization. If you're sharing workflows with others, you can easily load those from a file at the bottom of the library. And you can also use a number of default workflows inside of the library to get started with either creating or just using the workflow tab. An example might be the tiled upscaling workflow. When we load that, we can easily use the image drop zones to take in inputs, choose things like our scale factor, creativity, sharp and strength, and structural control, which you'll recognize if you edit the workflow are just a couple of renamed fields that help people understand how to use this. But it takes a lot of the complexity out of using workflows and really gets people back into creating, which is the most important piece of using Invoke. Another enhancement in 3.7 is an update to our seamless tiling. In the past, you might sometimes find that seamless tiles would have something right on the edge that really didn't make it seamless and it wasn't always consistent. We've increased the number of skipped layers in this process, and that has made seamless tiling a lot more reliable and consistent in generating seamless patterns. Let's go ahead and generate one now. We'll copy that out and do a seamless tile check, and we can see pretty much seamless. This is an extremely useful feature if you're creating any type of texture, wallpaper pattern, anything that's going to be tiled in any way. Super useful, extremely easy. Just head to the advanced options in order to turn that feature on. In 3.7, all open pose control adapters now use the DW pose processor. This enhanced processor has additional capabilities like face and hands, and it works really, really well at pulling out a pose for use in pose controls. We'll also touch on a couple of things that we've added to the canvas. When using the brush, you can hold down the control and use the scroll wheel on your mouse to increase or decrease the brush size, making it very easy to get through generations. 3.7 is going to be one of the last releases for version 3 of Invoke. We've got some exciting stuff coming up in 4.0. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. We got more coming.